Hello, my name is Patricia Kennedy and this is my personal development story. I'm a new student here at Sheridan working towards a degree in Business Administration Human Resources Management. I'm a 28-year-old professional, soon-to-be married woman whose story is just beginning. I'm native to Mississauga, having grown up just around the corner. I grew up in a pretty big family, being the youngest of four sisters with more than a dozen nieces and nephews. My family unit was, and always will be, incredibly important to me. As a young child, I was very easygoing and carefree, but as I got older, developed into a more reserved individual. I was bullied in school and never felt as though I belonged. This had a lasting impression on me. As if this wasn't confusing enough to a young and developing mind, when I was 13 years old, a niece of mine passed away, leaving me absolutely shattered. My whole world went black. The years passed and I went through life in a sort of bubble, keeping everyone at a safe distance and not building many meaningful relationships. I graduated high school, got an okay job, a few years later went to college and found a better job. The sun was starting to shine again. I began exercising and practicing yoga and felt healthier and better than ever before. I met my soulmate and fell deeply in love. All was well in the world. But then something strange happened. My excitement turned to boredom, my energy turned lethargy. I began to explore what it is that makes me happy. I decided again to take the next step with my education. I enrolled in the degree program here at Sheridan. It's an interesting take on education as we employ the flipped classroom model, something entirely new to me. With the help of this new style of learning, along with some insanely inspiring teachers, I've learned more about myself this past semester than I have in the past few years. We started with the learning type measure, which indicated that I'm a type 1 learner. This means I'm a good listener and prefer discussing ideas, and that I learn best by relating new ideas to previous knowledge and life experiences. I'm a good judge of character and can easily tell when people are being authentic. I look for meaning in different aspects of my life, including what I'm learning, the higher powers I may believe in, relationships, and at work. This type of learning is considered special because we type 1 learners take learning personally. I've learned through my values perspective report that my most prioritized values are relational, such as respect, personal growth, equality, and self-worth. I operate in a way that promotes other and self-awareness. I can look back through past life experiences and see that without focusing on my personal growth, I quickly become bored and uninspired. Likewise, I cherish developing a greater awareness in others. My perspective involves a change in consciousness, which really hits home. I've said many times how in recent years I've been operating on a higher level of consciousness. I'm focusing on creating connections with others, all the while harvesting a greater understanding of myself. This is what makes me happy and helps me feel connected. This is what got me interested in continuing education, yoga, and vegetarianism, all of which play an integral part of my life and have connected me to communities of like-minded individuals. Finally, there's the Meyer-Briggs Type Indicator, which reiterated a lot of what I've learned about myself this semester that I'm an introvert by nature, but that despite my introversion, I'm fascinated by exploring human complexities and I enjoy contributing to mutual growth. It states that I have a great concentration when engaged, but that I can find routine tasks with little meaning difficult to complete, which explains why I begin to feel restless even while working a good job. So this all begs the question, what now? Well, for the first 20 something years of my life, I thought that my socially awkward and introverted tendencies were something that I needed to change. I viewed them as inadequacies. This course has opened my eyes to the fact that people are who they are and I should embrace these intricate details of my personality. I can work on becoming a better version of myself, but I need not change myself to be a success. Seeing where I shine helps me determine what areas I should focus on developing as well. For example, my lesser valued processes, as indicated in my MBTI, are thinking and sensing. I can focus on developing these areas so they become more natural to me in the future. I've come to value the process of reflection and truly believe it's something I will continue, not just throughout my remaining four years at Sheridan, but also at work and in my personal life. I returned to school three months ago hoping to find what it is that will keep me happy, and although I may not have the answer just yet, I'm in a better and more open frame of mind for when those answers do come my way. They will find me, I just need to be receptive to them when the time comes.